Greetings, everybody. Forrest Nace here with American Steam Railroad bringing to you our November 2020 update. Throughout the month of October, we've been busy preparing the stay bolts for welding. The main task being media blasting with a grade of 4070 crushed glass that auto body shops use, which removes the mill scale on the bolt surface without etching into the steel. This will ensure that the welders have a pure metal surface to weld to. We'd like to say thank you to all of you that have sponsored to have the stay bolts welded in. And speaking of our firebox progress, we are now just $13,835 away from completing the work needed to be able to perform a hydrostatic test. The casting for the Stoker's jet distribution table inside the firebox was found to have some damage, which will be repaired by Gemini Industrial Machine Group of New Philadelphia, Ohio. And now, Brian Smith presents this month's Technology Corner segment. Brian, on to you. Thank you, Forrest. What I have here is an ultrasound testing device. This is a device that uses acoustic sound waves to detect the thickness of materials such as a boiler shell right here. Now, the reason why we're doing this is that the locomotive's 1472 day inspection is coming due next summer. And a full boiler survey is required for the next inspection. What we have to do is grid off the boiler into 8 inch squares, clean up three spots to take readings, then record those readings to a document so both the FRA and we know the thickness of the boiler. We then compare our readings to a calculated thickness to be sure we have a four times safety factor over the entire boiler. Now taking readings is pretty straightforward. First you apply some petroleum jelly, much as your doctor would do when they're doing an ultrasound. So I'll put a little bit right here. Now we got to make sure that uh, when we put the probe on there that it makes good firm contact. So we get a good reading there. And as you can see right there, we got a reading right there. We survey the entire boiler, but we pay special attention to areas where water could have collected while the engine was in storage. These areas tend to be the most likely spots to find corrosion. Now, as you can see, with a ginormous size of 2100's boiler here, this job is going to take a little time to do, but it's a job necessary when you're bringing a steam locomotive back to life. So everybody, that's what we've been able to accomplish here throughout the last 30 days. And now with the holiday shopping season upon us, please remember American Steam Railroad through the Amazon Smile program or making donation through PayPal. Also, don't forget the wonderful items we have in our online store, including mugs, t-shirts, hats, videos, books, stay bolts, and also those raffle tickets for a chance to win $500 or that custom painted Reading T1484 from Broadway Limited. And everybody, we want to thank again our generous donors, our contractors, our wonderful volunteers, and our good friends here at the Midwest Railway Preservation Society as we continue to make wonderful progress on the restoration of Reading T1 number 2100. Thank you.